here with Montgomery County Fire and EMS SL100. So what we have here is a 62 inch flat roof CAD with a slant back for the aerial. It's got a Kuzmo charger with a built in display. Working our way around the side you see that the fenderettes have been turned to rubber. They did do a blackout package on this unit. They also blacked out the turntable and did a texture coating on all the diamond plate. In here are your controls with your um, wheel chocks. They also have their wireless controller for their monitor. Working our way around to the pump module here. It's a 2000 GPM hail pump. They went with two inch and three quarter crosslays. You also see the rubber fenderettes back here on the rear tandems as well. They went with the black steel wheels. FMI did all the shelving on this unit. So as we move around, you see that the compartment handles are a little different than normal. They decided to go with these blacked out. Um, these compartment handles can also be found on Murfreesboro's SPH. These can either be um, non-locking, manual locking, or electric locking handles. As we work our way around to the back, it's got a rear backup camera. It's got the new Cobra Max Elkhart monitor with a custom shroud around it for your company's logo. It also has two FireTech rear hose bed lights. It's got a full complement of ladder here in the back, a 35 foot three section, a 28 foot two section, a 14 foot roof, and a 16 foot roof. As we keep moving around the truck, you'll also see that they have hitch points on all sides. And they also went with the poly rub rails for that extra protection. As we move into the cab, you see that the grab rails have also been blacked out. They went with a little bit of uniqueness here. So they went with a red interior, and when their dome lights come on, they're standard red. So back around to the front, they blacked out the grill, the queue, the roto ray, the headlight housings. They also went for the black style FireTech headlights. This is a 12 inch steel bumper with a protective lip and then they textured the diamond plate on top as well. And then they also went with a little bit of custom lower grill. Uh, this is a mesh, so pretty much that's the only thing that lights up in that grill instead of the whole thing. So a little, bit, a little unique on this truck.